Well, that's awkward. All right, Polanco people. Today we're going to continue our tour of Polanco. We'll start with leaving the Sumaya Museum. Then we're going to head to Guzino, Oaxaca for cocktails. And finally, we'll go to two taco spots before heading home. If you could leave a comment about what you like, dislike, or want more of in the comments, I'd greatly appreciate it as it'll help guide my future videos. Let's go. Just finished all the floors of the Sumaya Museum. Gonna find somewhere to sit down and look up where the next place we're gonna go to get a drink or a snack will be. So found somewhere to sit. What you'll see behind me is the Museo Umex. Uh, we're not gonna go there this time, but uh, it's another museum to check out if you're in the area. All right, we are leaving Museo, Museo Sumaya, and we're gonna head to Guzino, Oaxaca to try to get cocktails. So that should dry right there is where we've been ordering our rappy uh, grocery hauls. If you're curious, the more you know. which I showed earlier. Um, Greg's here, our friend, before he goes out on a date, get some traffic on the way here. We're just doing some uh, mezcal cocktails. Super good price and some of the best cocktails I've had. There's some people chilling in the back of the frame, but uh, we'll keep you uh, tuned. We're gonna get some talking about this. vouch the cocktails the mezcal cocktails at Gusina Oaxaca have alcohol in them they were can vouch so just wrapped up cocktails at Gusina Oaxaca we are gonna head to El Turix for a cochinita pibil tacos and maybe panuchas and tortas depending on how full we get there we might go to another place on the way home or we might uber home uh, stay tuned for some talk. All right, actually heading to El Turex now. In classic Mexico City fashion, they're closed for one hour and three or one hour and 30 minutes. So another day I won't get to try that and we'll get tacos somewhere else. So we struck out at El Turex. Um, we're heading to El Via Mayon or something. Yes, my Spanish blows. Yunji's laughing at it. Um, they've got rolled tacos here. We'll update who recommended this, but we're we're gonna eat. We're gonna eat.
it has started to sprinkle. As you can probably tell even from my upper half, I am not dressed for rain. Uh, the good news is a few minutes back on the other side of the road, there's an El Khalifa just in case. Otherwise, we're about seven or eight minutes from El Via Mayon. I don't even remember if that's right. We're gonna try to get there, stay tuned. We are here at El Via Melon. Um, they're known for being like uh, a taco place outside the largest bullfighting ring in Mexico. So they've got like a lot of branding around like bullfighting. We got four tacos. Um, I'll update which ones we got and I'll show you these right now. We've got four rolled tacos, Cecina, Longanisa, Campechano, and Costeño. Tacos are super bomb. They're of the rolled variety. A little salty, but that's never a bad thing. So this is the costeño, or a mix of the different meats. The waiter said this one is spicy. According to Yunji, it's super spicy. It's definitely the most juicy of the four tacos. Getting some chili, some spiciness. It's, it's very spicy. It's the wettest, uh, the most flavor, the most going on, definitely. The campechano was my second favorite. The longanisa after that. The cecina, my least favorite. This one is really flavorful, more so than the campechano. Really, really spicy. Again, getting a lot of, of chili and a lot of wetness. <music> We finished our tacos and we finished our beers. It's starting to rain, so we called an Uber to head home. Thank you for spending your time touring Polanco with us. I'd love to hear about your favorite spots in Polanco in the comments below. <laughs> in the comments. What's a comment? I meant comments below. Uh, please let me know what I missed. Till next time. We are home. Thanks so much for spending your time with us as we tour Polanco. Um, bye for now.